Hello and good day. Welcome back to our class. This is Teacher Oni Guzman, and our topic for today is Illustrating Events, Union and Intersection of Events for Grade 10, Quarter 3. So before we dive in with our topic, let us recall first the sound definitions. First, the union of events of A and B denoted by A union B is the collection of all outcomes that are elements of A or elements of B or both. It corresponds to the combining description of the two events using the word OR. On the other hand, the intersection of events A and B is denoted by A intersection B is the collection of all outcomes that are elements of both events A and B corresponds to combining descriptions of the two events using the word N. Let us review more some definition of terse. So we have the random experiment is an action that produces a specific outcome which cannot be predicted with certainty. Next one is the outcome is the result of a single trial of a random experiment. Followed by the sample space is a set of all possible outcomes in an experiment while an event consists of a set of outcomes which is a subset of the sample space. Okay, to illustrate the terminologies that we have recalled a while ago, let's use this one in this word problem. A two-child family is selected at random. Let E denote the event that at least one child is a girl. Let E denote the event that at least one child is a boy. And let F denote that the genders of the two children are the same. Find D union E and E intersection F. So let's list down first the sample space for our step number one. So if the first child is boy and the second child is a boy, so we have in symbol as BB. If the first child is boy and the second child is girl, so we have in symbol as PG. However, if the first child is girl and the second child is boy, so we have, okay, in symbol as, okay, girl, boy, or GB. However, if the first child is girl and the second child is girl also, in symbol we have GG. Our step number two is right the sample space in set notation. So, we will take down all these, okay, outcomes, okay, in our sample space. So, we have BB, BG, GB, and GG as our sample space in set notation. Let's move on to step number three. So, that is enumerate the event in set notation. So, take note that we will let the denote the event at least one child is a girl. So we can have actually in symbol BG, GB, and GG. Okay? E stands for the event that at least one child is a boy. So we have BB, BG, and GB. Well, F stands for, okay, denote that the genders of the two, uh, two children are the same. So we have BB and GG. Okay, we want to find out the union of D and E. So D union E, so meaning to say we will combine the elements of D and E. So we have, okay, BG, GB, GG, and EP. On the other hand, if we would like to get the intersection of the event E and F, so the common element is only BB, so we have E intersection F is equal to BB. Let's move on to problem number two. A pair of pair dice is rolled. Letter A, find the number of times a sum of 7 or 11 will occur. Letter B is find the number of times that both dice turn up the same number and the sum is less than 5. So first, let's list down or determine the sample space. So we have actually two die, so it means we have here, so die one has, okay, numbers one to six, and the second die is also one to six. So it is a pair die because all the events, all of the numbers one to six are here, as well as also on die number two, 
all the numbers 1 to 6 are here. So we will take the combination. Say for instance, we have 1, 1. So this is 1, 1. Then we have 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4, 1, 5, and 1, 6. So that is the possible combination. So if we will look into our sample space, we have actually six sample spaces in all. So we have actually, so if we will take 6, 1, 6, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5, and 6, 6. Now, step number two is, of course, we will let A is equal to the event that the sum of 7 is, is obtained. And let B is the event that the sum of 11 is obtained. Now, in order to determine that, so let's do on our okay, table. So we want to find out, okay, those, okay, events that we can have the sum of 7. So if we will look into this one, we have 6, 1. So this is the event that we can have the sum of 7. 6, 1, 5, 2, 4, 3, 3, 4, 2, 5, and 1, 6. So we have actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So 6 events in all. Next, to obtain B. So that is actually the sum, event that the sum of 11 is obtained. So if we will look on our table again, so we list down those events that has a sum of 11. So we have actually 6, 5, and 5, 6 only. So we have two events. So therefore, if you would like to find the A union B, so that is 6, 1, 5, 2, 4, 3, 3, 4, 2, 5, 1, 6, 6, 5, and 5, 6. So we can say that there are eight elements in A union B. Thus, the answer is A. Next, let's move on to 2B. So we would like to find the number of times that both dice turn out the same number and the sum is less than 5. So we will let C is equal to event to the same number turn up for both dice. And letter D is, we will, uh, let D is the event that the sum obtained is less than 5. So we have actually the following. We have 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, and 6, 6. Okay, so that is for, okay, uh, C. So if we will start out this 1, 1. We have 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, and 6, 6. Okay, and the D is, okay, the event that the sum obtained is less than 5. So we have only actually, okay, 1, 1. So again, <coughs> so we have 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 4. Then we have 2, 1, 2, 2, okay, what else? 3, 1. Now, we want to find out the C intersection B. So, if you can see on our highlighted, okay, table, only 1, 1 and 2, 2 have the same color. So, therefore, C intersection B is equal to 1, 1 and 2, 2. Let's move on to problem number three. How many numbers from the first 50 integers is divisible by three or four, and letter B, divisible by three and four? So our step number one is to list down the sample space. So if we list down all the numbers or of the elements of our sample space is up to the one, two, three, until 50. So these are the first integers. Second step is enumerate the outcomes for the events of obtaining a number less than 50 that is divisible by 3. So these are actually multiples of 3. So if we will list down, so we have 3, 6, 9, 12, until 48. Okay, next is to be, is we enumerate the outcomes for the event of obtaining a number less than 50 that is divisible by 4. So if we will list down, so we have actually 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 42, and 48. Okay, now that we know already our sample space, okay, as well as specifically for the elements of T as well as the elements of F, 
now so we want to find out the union or that is okay how many numbers from the first 50 integers is divisible by 3 or 4 since we use the word or it means it is the union so that is why we will get the union of t union f so we have actually 3 here are the elements so we have 3 4 6 8 9 12 15, 16, 18, 20, 21, 24, 27, 28, 30, 33, 33, 36, 39, 40, 42, 44, 45, and 48. So meaning to say there are 24 numbers which are divisible by 3 or 4. Now let's move on to the second question. Okay, how many numbers from the first 50 integers is divisible by 3 and 4? Since we use the word n, it means this is the intersection. So you have the intersection of t, uh, t and f is equal to 12, 24, 36, and 48. So therefore, there are four numbers which are divisible by 3 and 4. Again, so... This is the union and intersection of events. So that ends our discussion on the union and intersection of events. Again, this is Teacher on Indigus Math. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.